six days from now I will be on a flight on my way to England for a three-week trip and I have absolutely nothing ready. <laughs> I am so excited for this trip. I've been thinking about it for months now and it's approaching so fast and I have, like I said, nothing prepared. I got home from my contract almost two weeks ago and I've just been on the go nonstop since the day I arrived home. Hence why this trip is approaching so quickly and I have nothing really prepared. So I do need to get a jump on that today. I want to try and get a good chunk of packing. Even if I don't pack it physically into the suitcase, I want to pull all the outfits that I will be wearing. There are so many reasons why I'm excited for this trip. The biggest being that I am going to visit my boyfriend. He lives in England and the last time I saw him was when he visited me on The Wonder at the beginning or like middle of May. So we haven't seen each other since then and I'm really excited to be reunited and have a lot of time together. He also works on the cruise with me and he will be with me next contract which is going to be great but there's a huge difference being on land together and being on the ship so it's going to be really nice to have some time to explore England with him and just hang out. While I'm there we're planning to do a bit of traveling so he lives outside of Manchester so we're definitely going to do a couple day trips to Manchester. We're going to go to London. I want to visit my old college campus that I studied at in 2018 and then we're also thinking of going to a couple other places around the UK and Europe and I'm just really looking forward to it. I want to pack accordingly but I also really want to pack light so I have space for shopping. Not to be dramatic but I would be nowhere without this notebook. I write everything in it so of course naturally as the type A that I am I started planning out on paper, what I want to pack, things I need to do. Obviously it's a work in progress. I'm sure I'm going to add stuff as time goes on, but I've made a little bit of a packing list to get me going. And then I've got my travel essentials, which we will go through. And then just a couple things I want to get done leading up to the trip. First things first, we cannot start this preparation without a fun drink. So let's go downstairs and make ourselves an iced coffee. Coffee is sorted. Now that we've got the coffee, we can begin the process. Typically, I would pack a carry-on for a two or three week trip. However, my flight ticket actually came with a checked luggage, so might as well take advantage of that. Let's go get the luggage and then we can get into it. Half of my life is packing and unpacking a suitcase because I am constantly traveling which I I'm so thankful for I love that I get to say that but because of that I think I have a fairly good grasp on how to pack if you're new here hello I work on a cruise ship I have to pack my life up pretty much into two luggages for an entire you know eight to ten months my goal for this trip is to pack minimally and to pack neutrals. As far as color palette is concerned, neutrals are just the easiest way to mix and match and build a bunch of outfits with less items. Lo and behold, here is my closet. We've been here so many times, um, never gets old. I really did want to go through the closet and get rid of more stuff, just purge everything I'm not wearing or using. But that might be for another day because I'm running out of time. I just got this a couple days ago at Zara and I think this is, no not Zara, sorry, Primark. And I think this is the perfect piece to pack. Also going to be packing this little number, so cute. This is from Zara. This is going to be really easy to throw on. I can do like an all white look. I can do this with jeans, with shorts. It's just cute. I feel like this is really cute for my trip. It's very lightweight, it is long sleeve, but I will say the climate is a lot colder than it is here and it tends to be a little bit more overcast, a little chillier probably at nights, so I do want to keep that in mind and not go crazy with summer, summer clothes because it's not going to be, you know, 85, 90 degrees out. This doesn't look like much on the hanger, but I promise you it's really cute on. Okay, absolutely 100% a must have. That's definitely more a fall vibe, but I honestly think I'll be able to wear this in England because Callum says it's been chilly. So I'm going to take his word for it. 
I've got this little blouse from Princess Polly. This is like a satin finish and it's a champagne color. I have this little bodysuit from Express. I think this will be perfect. I love a high neck. It's just a great basic to have and I can build a lot of outfits with this. Definitely packing this bodysuit as well. I will pack a few pops of color, but for the most part, we're going to stick to neutrals. Another great bodysuit. Also on my list, I've got shackets, my leather jacket, sweatshirts. I have this little shacket that I love. This is going to be a staple for sure. I wore this my entire contract on Voyager around Europe. This is from Stradvarius, so I feel like this is perfect for the trip. I do have a blazer and I feel like a blazer is a power move. So I've got this one from Princess Polly. I do also have a pink one. So like which one? I feel like I should go this one. I might change my mind. Sweatshirts, I'm definitely gonna pack this one. I just think it's so cute and it's been a favorite of mine. So I got it from the Abercrombie Boys section like five months ago or so. And I just think it's preppy and cute. So that's coming with. I also have this hoodie I think I'm going to bring. It says main character energy. I really want to buy like a London crew neck or I don't know. We'll see what I find. But I think that's good. Two is fine. This is my first piece that's not a neutral but it needs to come with. This is one of my favorites. I just love throwing this on over something. So this one is also going to come with. I have this one I definitely want to bring as well. This is new to the wardrobe. I think that's a good start for tops. Let's move on to bottoms. So I want to pack a pair of denim. Potentially I'll pack these asymmetrical ones. They're like a lighter wash and straight leg. So I'm going to try these on, make sure that these are the ones I want. If not, I'll pick out another pair that are the same, just a normal high waist. These are an absolute must for my trip. These trouser shorts. Are you kidding? They're coming. I also have this little white skirt. Then I've got this little brown mini skirt with a slit on the side. I think this will be cute and again easy to pair with all the other neutrals that I've pulled so far. I just recently got this set of two bodysuits on Amazon. I just went with the two neutral colors. So I got this brown one and a cream. It's got a square neckline and it's going to be nice and fitted. These are going to be perfect for the trip. So definitely going to pack these with me. So here's everything that I've pulled so far. I feel like we're doing really good and it's pretty much all within the same color palette so it'll be easy to build outfits. Next thing I need to pull is activewear because when I am there I'm gonna want to still be working out. We're gonna go on walks, hikes, maybe play pickleball if we can find somewhere to do that. So I do want to pull some workout clothes and I actually just got a bunch of new stuff from Halara. So a big thank you to Halara for sponsoring this video. Without fail, every single time I'm wearing something from Halara, I get complimented. So I do have a discount code if you want to shop and save some money. I will have that in the description box as well as all the links to everything I'm showing you. So first up is this adorable blue top. I actually have this top already in the like coral color and I loved it so much I wanted to get it in another color and I just thought this baby blue was just such a pretty shade. So it is a scoop neckline. It has a lower back with a crisscross detail which I think is really cute. There are removable pads so you know you have some support but you can take them out if you decide you want to. It is a cropped workout top but it's not super super cropped. It goes down to about my belly button which I think is perfect. I'm obsessed with this color. I don't know why I don't have more of this shade of blue in my closet because I think it looks really good with a tan. So definitely going to be packing this with me. Next up we've got this little gray tank. The material of all of their clothes are so soft. Like I don't know how they do it but it's so buttery soft and really flattering to the body. Like it just hugs you in all the right places. So this is just a basic spaghetti strap crop top. This is so easy to throw on if you're working out, if you're going for a walk, if you're running errands. Like you could honestly style this a bunch of different ways if you're not just working out. Now that I've got this one, I need it in every single color. I love it so much. It is, it's perfect. Okay, here is the next top. I think this one's my favorite so far. I can't. How cute! This color is everything. This neckline is everything. I love a square neckline. I think it's so flattering and it honestly doesn't even look like a workout top. Like, 
I feel very supported and I could work out and move around in it but honestly like you could wear this out and about as well the back detail is so unique I love it actually I influenced Madison to buy a couple things from Halara and she has this top in like an orangey color like a burnt orange and it looked so good on her so I decided to try it for myself and I got it in this green I also love the like wider strap as well I think that adds a nice detail and once again it is cropped but it's not super cropped it goes to about my belly button so next up are a pair of pants these are like a linen-y sort of material and they do remind me of a gaucho pant these are so cute I feel like it even looks good with this top like this could be a full outfit there are pockets in the pants which is nice with a zipper so you can zip them shut if you'd like the length is actually perfect on me I want to say this is more of like a cropped pant but since I'm short it is full length but that's totally fine because I don't have to get them hemmed so these are definitely giving me European vibes I feel like you could style this a bunch of different ways I've just put on these leggings and I literally do not want to take them off. They are so comfortable. They're so stretchy and fitting. I love this waistline, like the crisscross design I think is so flattering. These are full length on me, which is perfect. They have little pockets on the side so you can put your phone in there or AirPod case if you're running or on the go. I could live in Halara products. They are so soft, like every single thing from the website is insanely soft you could just work out in them lounge in them sleep in them like honestly i could sleep in this stuff it's so comfortable big fan of these i already have so many pairs of their leggings and i love them so definitely recommend it and they're so affordable as well so these 3.0 leggings were designed with special fabric and they are so comfortable that you can wear them 24 7 i actually wore them an entire day and they were by far my most comfortable leggings that i own like I said, they're so incredibly soft, they're stretchy, and they're very breathable when you are wearing them, so you're not constricted or anything like that. These are the next pair of leggings I got. I picked them out in this, like, taupey brownish color. These come in a bunch of different colors, so if this isn't your cup of tea, go look for something else because they have so many options. I picked out one little tennis skirt. This one is everything. This color is so pretty. It's high-waisted, and it's like a mini skirt, but again... There is some shorts underneath, so it's very comfortable. I could wear this walking around, exploring the city. The skirt does tie on the side, but I think that adds a really cute detail. And overall, this skirt is just so flattering and so comfortable. And again, so soft. Like, I wish you could feel the material through the camera. Final item I picked up is this dress. I actually don't have an activewear dress. This is my first one, and I'm so pleasantly surprised catch me playing pickleball on this dress it's so comfortable and so adorable so i got it in this blue color and i thought it was just a really unique design once again there are the spandex shorts underneath so you are very covered and you can just move around as you wish this does have a little bit of flow to it which is cute that is everything for this halara haul i'm obsessed with everything everything will be coming with me to Europe. Make sure to use my discount code to get 20% off your order. Like I said, I'll have everything linked below so you can easily access it and add it to your cart because then we can twin. Because I have so many clothes, I also have dresses, skirts, and bathing suits in our spare bedroom closet. So we're going to pull a few sundresses. I'm going to try and be very minimal and practical with this. And then I also have a pair of trousers I want to pack. These are very similar to the trouser shorts I'm packing, but they are a pant form. And again, neutral, so they're going to be perfect. I have this pair of linen pants I might bring, but I need to check if they're too similar to the ones I'm already packing. This, I think, is just such a gorgeous color for the summer. Definitely see myself wearing this in Amsterdam or something, so we're going to pack her. I just recently got this dress from Zara, and I think that this is giving all the European vibes so she's coming with. I have this little white set so it's like a crop top with some straight leg white pants. I feel like that's a cute look. Again I can mix and match those. This would be really cute with my shacket over top. Okay so here's some more tops that I'm packing. I've got two neutral t-shirts, three tank tops, this little blue top, a black halter, and then four more like 
elevated tank tops. I feel like we're doing pretty well. I'm probably overpacking more than I need, but this is the first day I can go back and pull things if I change my mind and I try to downsize a bit. However, I do want to talk about some of my travel essentials because I did just receive an Amazon package in the mail. Sunglasses are always essential for me to have on any trip. These ones are new to me. I've never had this style. I really hope they work out. They're very trendy. So it's a set of two. The first ones I got are just these black ones. I don't know. I feel like they're really cool. I don't know if I look good in them. And then I also got them in this shade. So it's like a cream frame and then like a brownish reddish lens. I think they're cool. They're cute. They're definitely different for me. We're gonna pack those. Another travel essential for me is my AirFly. So basically this acts as Bluetooth with my AirPods when I'm watching a movie on the flight. I think nowadays you have to pay for headphones, but anyways, they're never as good as your own. So I love this thing. I absolutely love this thing. I bring it on every trip, well worth the money. Another one of my travel favorites that I just recently added into my packing routine, like last contract or maybe the contract before, is packing cubes. They have made the world of a difference. I got this set of like seven packing cubes on Amazon and I can fit so much into these bags. I got the beige color because I liked the neutral look, but you can find these on Amazon. You can find them, you know, at TJ Maxx, like pretty much anywhere. And they're very affordable and they are 100, 1000% worth it. These are single-handedly gonna change your life and they're gonna make your life 10 times easier when packing. Another travel essential of mine are these clear bags. So I just recently got these ones, but I have a couple others that I really like. They are TSA approved, so you can put your toiletries in them and see everything that's inside. This one has three different size bags, so love this. Can't wait to pack this up. I also have one of these little bags. So basically, it expands and tightens, so you throw all your makeup in here, and then you just tighten it and it's nice and compact, and it has a little Velcro, and you're good to go. When the time comes closer, I'm gonna pack that up with all my makeup essentials and throw that in my carry-on. It's time for lunch. I have very limited time today, because I have plans to meet my cousin for coffee, and then after that I'm going out to dinner with two of my friends, so since I've been plugging along upstairs, I'm just gonna eat some soup dumplings from Trader Joe's. These things are insanely good. I don't know how they taste this amazing. I don't have soy sauce though, which is a bummer, but they're still yummy without. How do they make them taste so good? They're so juicy. This is the next beast to tackle. Just look at that. That's concerning. And this is even more concerning, all of my bags. I need to reorganize these because if I want a specific bag, I just dig through and find it. And then this is what happens over time. So we're gonna quickly organize this. And also we're gonna sort the shoes. This looks a lot better. And then I also organized this as well. So it's looking good, much better. I've just arrived at Starbucks. I'm meeting my cousin for some coffee and I'm so excited. I haven't seen her in over a year.
last night was super fun after coffee with my cousin i met up with emily and jamie and went to dinner and then emily and i went to a bar on hurdle and just had a drink and caught up some more so it was really nice and now my family is about to come over for a pool party but i just got some amazon packages in the mail adding to the list of travel essentials a makeup brush container or like organizer is so essential. I used to have one but I did recently get rid of it. I don't know why but I've been needing a new one so I just ordered this silicone makeup brush holder on Amazon. There's a lot of good reviews about it. I will have it linked below so I just got the like beige color. It has a velcro strap so you just open it on up and you fit them in. It looks quite small actually, but from what the review said, it says it actually fits a lot more than what it looks like. So another thing you absolutely need for when you're traveling is a good backpack. I use my dad's actually, that's what I've used the last couple contracts and it works great, but I really just want my own that I like what it looks like, but is also very functional. I caved and I bought the backpack that went viral on TikTok. The reviews on this backpack are absolutely amazing and I need a backpack that can fit a lot of stuff. I had been thinking about buying this for a really long time and I decided now was a perfect time to do it. So this is the backpack. I did get the upgraded version so it is a little bit bigger than the original but I love the color and it has a ton of compartments so you can fit a lot in here. I've seen people pack for like two weeks of vacation in this carry-on. I'm excited to pack this up for the trip. There's even like a spot for my laptop, which is so useful because I don't want that thing getting banged around. Tons of zippers and pockets and compartments. There's a shoe compartment on the bottom and you can even charge your phone to the backpack. So that's really cool. They have it in other colors as well. So if you're looking for a backpack, but you don't want like a beige or a pink color, this, this will be the one. I'm excited to try this out and uh, I'll give you my update on how I actually like it when I do travel with it. But so far, first impressions are good. much with my packing so we're gonna try and tackle the rest of it today it's been a hectic weekend here my uncle's been in from out of town for the last week so we did like a family party on Saturday my brother and Abby have been visiting from the city since Friday night so I'm just spending most time with them and I've also been trying to keep up with all the content I need to shoot before I leave so all in all it's just been crazy and packing has been on the back burner but it needs to get done today I want to resume with packing all my undergarments, so sports bras, bralettes, underwear, socks, all of that stuff. Top drawer is where I keep all of that sort of stuff. It is kind of overflowing, and to be honest, I usually just pack so many pairs of underwear because it's always better to have more, so I'm just going to grab a handful. I'm going to grab a couple sports bras and bralettes. These are my favorite to wear on the daily. It's actually a problem how many sports bras I have. Maybe when I come back, keyword maybe, I will have time to go through and condense my wardrobe, but that's a problem for another day. There's just not enough hours in the day, you know what I'm saying? This probably looks like a chaotic pile, because it is, but we've got socks, we've got two bras, one black, one tan, I've got two bralettes and I've got some sports bras and underneath there I have underwear. I've limited myself to three bags for this trip so I've got my new Chamberlain coffee tote. I've got this brown crossbody from Princess Polly but I like this because I can also interchange it with a like shoulder bag and then I've got my new belt bag from Amazon so I think this is a good a good selection and maybe I'll come home with a new bag who knows we'll see what we find. We're in my brother's old room, aka my workout space that also doubles as my packing room whenever I leave. I've got my luggage right here. I'm just gonna bring the one, obviously I don't need two, and we're gonna fill this bad boy up. It's time to start putting all the clothes into the packing cubes. All right. We've got my fan in here from last contract. I use this backstage to uh, cool myself down. Don't know why that's in here. But here are my packing cubes. So I've got seven. They're all different sizes. So we're just gonna start with the biggest one and work our way down. 
Based on trial and error, I've actually learned that folding is more effective than rolling for the cubes. I'm gonna fold everything very neatly and very thin and put them in the packing cubes. show this but Callum did order some hair supplies that he wants me to bring for him so this is quite heavy but you know what I have the weight for it so I'm not gonna be coming home with this but there is a ton of room on this left side of my luggage so I'm really happy about that my toiletries are gonna go in my backpack so we are we're good to go. My third pair of shoes are gonna be my Stan Smiths and I'm gonna be wearing those for the flight. And then I do just have to grab my sandals downstairs so those will just go in in a couple days. I'm feeling quite relieved about packing, to be honest. It was starting to stress me out just a little bit because usually I pack way, way in advance. The last couple days, like I said, have been busy. So I'm just glad that I have finally put everything in its respective packing cube and put it into the luggage. I did weigh the luggage. It is 40 pounds, which yes, I probably still did overpack. Like, you got me there. However, about seven or eight pounds of that is shampoos, conditioners, and other hair products for Callum. So I won't be returning home with that, which would be nice. And again, I do have tons of space still for shopping, which I'm not really gonna go crazy. Like, in my mind I will, but I know I'm not gonna go absolutely insane because the British pound is much better than the US dollar right now. So everything is going to be, I think that's how it works. Anyways. Point being, it's gonna be more expensive for me to shop there. So we gotta be smart about our spending. I am so excited for this trip. Make sure to subscribe for more adventure and fun. And if you do want daily updates, make sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok because I do post very frequently there. But I love you all to the moon and back. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.